How you doing, guys? Now, a lot of you guys had asked me to try the Packmaster, try the Packmaster, try the Packmaster. So here's my first look at the Packmaster. It isn't the craziest synergies I could do, but now that I have a fresh look at it, we're gonna do some crazy stuff and try our best to have some crazy Packmaster runs. Enjoy. Packmaster, let's see. Wow, okay. A traveler with an unending pack of weapons and tools at the start of each combat gain energy and draw one card. Okay. What is this? A Grand Legacy, Hat Lux. A blast from the past featuring cards inspired by legacy character mods from before the days of Steam Workshop. What else? Wait, how many packs are there? What the heck? What am I looking at? Temporarily change your cards into other cards, making them stronger. Ma Look at the art. Holy. Master multiple damage types. Okay, I don't know what this is yet. I'm just going to leave it the way it was. Okay. So basically, I can remove packs that I don't want to see. Okay, cool. I'll just leave everything as it is, right? Hat menu. Base hat versus random hat. And how do you get the other ones? Ah, so are these are just cosmetic then? This is all cosmetic. There's a lot of freaking hats. Sheesh. Let's go. Give you draft mode, which is crazy. All right, begin. Current packs. Draft a pack. I have grand opening. The beginning of is half of every action adds innate synergies and, and cards a reliable suite of simple and useful cards the core set we have arcana which is used unique and varied meanings of the major arcana and we have shaman cards from and inspired by the shaman character mod ignite your enemies for long lasting damage manipulate the power of foresight think ahead it even gives you a summary huh So is it just me, or the creativity is like the Warden, except it's got more front-loaded offense and defense, but no scaling, whereas this has three in scaling. And you know what I like? I like things that say offense, defense, front-loaded in Act 1. Create cards and benefit from cards creation. Yeah. Oh, we keep drafting. Okay. This has offense and scaling that can scale. So let's say I take this. This has poison or shifting through your deck for the right play. So maybe I'll use it for the boss, like the actual boss. Have some element of scaling. Or I can go in on the front-loaded offense into the breach. Use powerful mech-based weaponry from the future to dispatch the spire's threats. Okay. I like the, the hat locks, snake's cries. What does this say? Focus your power on gaining tons of energy and spending on costly cards. Let's do this. Oh, this is this is scaling up the wazoo. A pack focused on weak and vulnerable and hex vexing mysteries on luck. Cool. Weak and vulnerable is cool. What else? Super supportive. Power is ethereal. Receive it and when it and when it's meant to come, let it go if you don't need it. And this is super front loaded. A collection of def defect cards focused on access to orbs. This is by Megacrit. Huh. I mean, play ascension. I didn't even see. The, was there an option for ascension? This is my first time playing. I didn't even see their option for ascension. I'm kidding. The, the ratings are kind of making me because I don't know about the cards. So I'm, I'm looking at the ratings to kind of guide my decisions. I like the fact that this says front loaded, but I also like this says weak and vulnerable. I also like how this says tons of support. All right, confirm. Now, how does this work? Ah, it's showing me the card pool. I see. So did I, oh wait, did I just draft my packs for the whole of the run? This wasn't just Act 1, that was for the whole of the run. I see. So maybe I should have taken things that said weak, vulnerable, and or scaling, and or more support. Because this is for all the run. And I didn't add a lot of scaling supportive cards. But we'll make this work. I had Biascog. That's my scaling for the run. 
The art is incredible, by the way. My lord. Maybe I should have said my art is incredible. I should have waited until I saw the whole pack. No, I'm just kidding. The art is incredible, too. This has a place in my heart as well. Cool. All right. I don't know what half these cards are. Or probably like 50, uh, 79%. Let's do it. We get a snipe or a max HP. The Fool. Yeah, it's incredible. Look at that. I love how it's animated, too. Wow. Yeah, this is incredible. Okay. Is there a snipe on the board? Yes, there is. Let's go. Cardistry. This is an incredible mod. Wow. Alright. Fiery Mantle. Smithing Hammer or Flare. So what does Ignite do? Ignite is... Ignite creatures lose 1 HP per stack at the end of the start of the turn. And it doesn't reduce. So you just keep stacking Ignite. Interesting. This does 12 block. Whenever you attack, you apply to Ignite. Deal 3 damage 2 times. Upgrade 2 random cards in your hand. It ups upgrades it for the fight, no? Like, not for... It's not permanent. Right? There's no way it's permanent. Not for a common card like that. Alright, so... Fire Mantle seems kind of cool. Browse single cards. Black Market, you there? You there! With the backpack of that size, you must be a collector. Come in and browse. We have a lovely temporary pop-up market set up today. Fully legitimate, of course. I'm sure you can find something you need. Just don't tell anyone we were here. Remove a non-basic non-curse from your deck and gain 100 gold. Do both. Sell, sell once and then buy two of 20 cards. So I can either buy, add one of 20 cards from packs not in your pool. Or I can remove a non-basic instead of getting 100 gold. And sell. And then buy two. Let's do that. Oh, wait, 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 non-basic, non-curse, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I okay with this? My fire mantle is going to be a place of two other cards, okay, but I have to buy them, what does it mean by buy, how much does it cost? Let's find out, it's free, okay, buy is just a well, word, get choke, gain three temporary strength the next time you play different color attack this turn, repeat this. Gain three block when this infests. Evoke your next two orbs and lose an orb slot. At the end of your turn, if this hits in your hand, shuffle it into your draw pile and put an infesting infesting infestation counter on it. Gain seven block. Draw one card if it's a cursor status. All enemies lose one strength. Deal seven damage if this if the seventh card this turn. Deal seven damage three times instead. Huh? Deal 30 damage to all enemies. Apply 3 penance to all enemies. What is penance? When a creature obtains 8 penance, it loses 20 HP and loses 8 penance. Uh-huh. I like that. It says 13 to all enemies. I kind of like that. What is chance of lightning? This is lightning strike, but times 2. Enemy loses half its strength and then loses 2 more. What's the boss? When you play an attack, increase its damage by four. What the hell? When you play an attack, increase it by four this combat. That's scaling. So every time you play an attack, you increase it by four. What is the upgrade? How do I see the upgrades here? I'm scared to click it. Deal 20 damage exhaust. It's good front loaded. Deal 7 damage to random enemy X times reroll. What does reroll mean? Dice are not used up. What is reroll? What are what are dice? Let's let me right click this thing. Okay, let's pick that. Gain 10 block, deal 10 damage, pick up, obtain the curse, the bell. Really? 
It's a it's a ten block ten damage, but I get a curse. That sounds kind of interesting. The polishing seems kind of cool too. It's a dash for energy, exactly. You get a curse. What about polishing for lightning strike? Why am I getting so much removal? Doom and Gloom. Each turn, if, this, if the first card you play is an 8, gain 6 block. How many 8 cards do I have? Not much. Discover a common card from other packs you've selected. Hmm. Bad for Doom and Gloom. Let me start. That's bad for um. Coming up. Do I care? I'm not sure. Let's go. Got a shop. Upon pickup, you may add each card from a random backpack or booster to your deck. This deal, do all these damage. This goes to any play copy of this card. Draw two cards. Next turn, draw two additional cards. Draw three cards, scry two, shuffle, fading ember. This is damage, discover strike. It exhausts when played and it causes zero this turn. I should do this thing. <laughs> I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to do the thing that says draw cards. Uh, let's upgrade the polishing. What does it say? Six, that is combat. Credible. What does this do? Nine twice. Wow. Um. Oh, this doesn't become ethereal. You just draw two and next turn draw two. That's incredible. That's an incredible draw card. What's the upgrade then? Any strike upgrade. Alright, we're done with the Log of Olin. What's next? Gain one strength. Synergy. Gain three strength instead. Additional effect if you have two cards from two other packs in your hand. If you have cards from two other packs in your hand. Well, yeah. Well, yes. So I have a pack from Warrior, a pack from Strikes Strikes, a pack from Defective Dreams. That's going to play for three strength quite often. And now we really need some multi attack. Now we have multi attack stuff going crazy. Oh, Mama Vita Hands on a Defect esque run. Oh my god, this has been forever since I had a note for yourself. I haven't seen this in forever. And the last time I did it, I gave myself an iron wave. Um. Sure. Rip Pex. So I have Defective Dreams and Strike Strikes. Perfect. Three Strength. The next show you play is Return to the top. Okay, hell yeah. But isn't Lightning Strikes better? Yeah, one of your ones? Yeah, exactly. No. What is gain energy? Oh, gain energy. Oh, wow. Wow. Tungsten Rod. This turn, your next innate card is played twice. Where are my innate cards? Okay, listen, there seems to be some innate synergy that I haven't tapped into yet. Deal six damage. Kill the enemy if they have 10% or less of their max HP afterwards. 
Now, doesn't death go pretty freaking well with the fact that I polish it? I polish the death. It gets stronger. And then it becomes an execute. Yeah, let's fucking try it. It's burst but for innate. Ripped pecs. G G. One second. You guys want to do the tower? Play a copy of this card. And the tower is whatever. If you play each turn, if you play the first turn, you plays an eight game six block. Well. This is a power which is kind of interesting with the fact that I'm off at hand. So I want to start taking powers. But I don't have any innate synergies whatsoever. Skip. That's GG. When you apply a knight, apply one additional knight. Now that's a power I can get into. Right? Move at hand, plus the fact that, I mean, I don't have any knight yet. It's pretty far off from what I'm already doing. Game fan block, apply three potions to a random enemy, persist two. What is persist two? Only discards after a certain number of uses each turn. Wait. Let's do it. Yeah, the art of this is incredible, yeah. Sustenance. Oops, I forgot the fact that I could have sustained sustenance. Well, I didn't realize how, that's how it worked. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Wait, why didn't death work? Ah, because it wasn't lethal. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Gain 13 blocks. Next turn, draw two additional cards. This is like prepared, but for blocks. Draw three cards. Put two cards from your hand into the top of your drop pile. Defective dreams. Ripped pecs. Sustenance. Yeah, exactly. I just noticed. I just noticed. Polishing. Ah, but polishing death. Sustenance. Sustain it stays zero cost because of the mouth at hand. Oh my, that's a great interaction. A plus interaction right there. A plus. Now every attack I play just gets four. Oh my god, that's incredible. Polish, 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 polish. I should upgrade the ethereal card so that I have that card draw. So this has. So Defective Dreams is one of them, right? I need to get plus one. No. Sustenance time. Wait, Sustenance is incredible. For two, for two energy, it's 14 block, 8 poison. 14 block, 8 poison. It's pretty good. And there it is again. Ripped pecs. Death. Well, my Iron Wave is now beefed up. Sustenance is OP. I have lethal. Doom and Gloom is really lethal. GG. Choose one card and upgrade it permanently. That's fun. Firewall. When a status is created, exhaust it. Wait a minute. So I still get the negative draw from the statuses. But. 
They're gone on the next redraw. Evoke your next rogue X times. At the start of your turn, draw one card and add one fading ember. What's fading ember? Apply ignite. Did we add the thing that adds ignite? It says there was a thing that says that when you add ignite, add another ignite, but I didn't take that power. And this is a power from over at hand, and it can start at applying ignite to things. Okay, you got Pandora's box, actually a pyramid. Anybody want some pyramid in their life? Any pyramid enjoyers? Ah, it would destroy before, it, so it's like a firewall because the fire, so it exhausts it before it even draws, so then it doesn't affect the draw, is what you're saying. That makes more sense. Try to do all the elites, if possible. No, I ruined it. I ruined it, I ruined it. What do you want to upgrade permanently? Yeah, that's a good question. What do you want to upgrade permanently? You want to upgrade the uh, that power I play permanently? Probably. I really am getting my ass kicked here, huh? Strike is incredible. Smithy, oh, what? Two upgrades permanently. What a scry. Scry is good. Gain six percent block for each enemy in combat. Wow, that's an efficient block. Apply for ignite. The enemy has vulnerable. Apply for ignite and apply two uh, again. Apply two vulnerable. Oh, should we? We didn't take the ignite synergies, so I'll just do scr trace. Scry six seems pretty cool. All right, let's upgrade the fuel by embers. Boom. Now it's innate. Now there's a thing that says if you play an A card, play it twice. Okay, fair enough. I want to draw a hologram. Scrying six is pretty incredible. Any favorite so ass? <laughs> For right now, it is. But it gets better, don't worry. How do I draw a card? I need to draw a card here. I need to draw a card. I can't. Unfortunately. They would take a lot of damage. Damn, we take a lot of damage. I need to draw into that poison again. I, okay, I made a mistake. I was supposed to do card cardistry into sustenance last turn. That was my bad. Choose a card in your hand and permanently give it an innate. Remove this from your deck permanently. This whole innate synergy is weird. There's a card that says if you have an innate card, play it twice, which could be cool for the the ember. It's bottle in a card, yeah. So you play it, make something innate, and then it's gone. And what would I want to have to be innate? 
I'm not sure. I guess polishing him. You want to make a polishing innate, right? Suppose polishing innate is okay. Transform two cards. I wouldn't mind transforming two cards. I feel like my deck sucks. You can get Jax, though. Isn't strength pretty cool? Because if we get Jax, we only take two damage from it, and we get getting strength for a multi attack. So at the end of the day, this was a multi attack a lightning strike deck, but I started adding some weird stuff like Fading Ember and Poison, which just makes sense. Whenever you try a new class, you end up doing some weird things. I can just transform two cards and save. see what I get. I have Flare and I have Ranger set up. You know, taking that power that makes the Ignite apply more, it was probably a good call. Apparitions. All right, that's five apparitions? All right, GG. What the fuck? What the hell? Exactly, you want to try everything. But I have Apparition with Tungsten Rod, which is kind of redonkulous. Kind of redonkulous. I should probably get my Dark Oops scaling as well. So I want to bottle the polish, but I just played the polish. Whoops. We'll do it next time. We'll battle prep the polish next time. Unless you guys want to battle prep an apparition and just upgrade this apparition. So make an apparition be innate. What do you guys think? An innate apparition. Hologram. Deals for damage, apply five poison and one vulnerable. Create a smite and safety. It draws a card, do it again. Absolutely not. Let's fight all the elites. Battle prep is removed, yeah. But I need to upgrade the one, right? I need to upgrade that, which is pretty bad. No, I got rid of my corp, my rip pex. Got rid of my rip pex, which I wanted to keep around. I don't want to see any of those cards ever again. Sustenance. Pretty good. Sustenance is pretty good. There's the polish. Look at that night adding up. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. Flares are pretty good, man. Flares are pretty good. Rip Pex, the gift that keeps on giving. And we have Lethal. Wow, so much damage over time. The PM booster pack. Upon pickup, add any one card from a random booster pack to your deck. Whoa. Start of your church, channel a random orb. Anything that has a power, I kind of like a lot just because I have this moment at hand. Game one focus. A game one orb slot. Shuffle a void into your draw pile. The void engine. The void engine. 
Gaining one focus, gain one upper slot. Okay. Channel random orb. That sounds fun. What is polder? Applies frostbite to random enemies. Frost is block and blaze is ignite. Increases every turn this blaze and when evoked it applies ignite to the enemy with the most HP. Equal to the blaze amount. Cool. Oh, we got Power Master back. Holy, at this time it's upgraded. All right, we actually have, <laughs> we have an Ignite deck. So do you guys want the pain? I kind of want the pain because I don't lose any HP with it. Yeah, it stays in my hand, unfortunate. But then I can remove it at a shop down the line. And now Apparition's upgraded. Wait, does it stay zero? Doesn't stay zero. Doesn't stay zero. Good to know. I'm just gonna go lightning strike crazy. I'm gonna go lightning strike crazy. Apparitions make this pretty wild. I mean, they gave me five apparitions. Like, what am I supposed to do with five apparitions? It's too much. It's way too much. Giria, I love that. Gain three block, discard a card, draw cards used to, the, to its cost. That's cool. Whenever you attack to gain ignite, uh, let's go ahead and skip this. All this is trash. Blue candle, why not? <laughs> you guys want to rob? What do you want to buy? If I rob, let's rob it. Let's rob, let's rob, let's rob. To take a dagger or not take a dagger? I mean... Sure, I like some meta scaling. I want some. I want. Some, I want to live for something. Channel two random orbs. How about we make the thing that is innate actually, you know, not ethereal. But two random orbs is not bad. Okay, see what we got. All right, prismatic shard, boys. Now, how the hell does that work? How does prismatic work in a in a? Uh, <laughs> And a Packmaster run. Do a 22 damage to all enemies. Apply 9 of to the highest HP. So this is Terror with <laughs> terror with some bonus on top. And if I play Power, I can make this free. There's 22. I'm going to go ahead and skip. You guys want to do Prismatic for the content? What content, sir? I don't know. We'll find out. More Power Master? <laughs> How many Ignites do you guys want to apply? You want all the Ignites. How about I get rid of all the defense? All right, you guys want it? Fine, I'll take it for you. But I don't think it's good. I'm telling. I don't think it's good. Whenever a card is created, it got bias cog. Bias cog doesn't make any sense. Well, it could make sense because we are doing random orbs. Yep, I got this uh, blue candle. Oh, I already upgraded the innate one, didn't I? Why does it keep getting upgraded? Oh, because it's innate. Yeah, I, I did upgrade it already. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, we got this. Fueled by embers. Got our doom and gloom already. I'm making card to the sustenance. 
Wait, I could have played it twice that turn. Whoops. Power Master. Power Master. Apparition. Flare. Get rid of this. Sustenance. Ember. Sustenance. Nice. Rip Pex. RIP. Got a nice Plasma, which is nice. Nice Plasma, which is nice. Wow. I'm adding 10 Ignite already? Excuse me. Can you grind Ascension? Yeah, but there's no way I'm grinding Ascension, guys. I just wanted to get a feel for what this class is. But you best believe we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Oh my god, look at the embers are going crazy. Look at the apparitions. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can. Yes, the answer is you can. Ah, I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to see that. Rip Pex is cool. I call this. My, okay, I need to figure out my hand space. Once I get an energy relic, the hand space is going to be much more free. Don't worry. So we got to end with dagger, right? I gotta be careful not to do too much passive damage because otherwise I won't be able to end with dagger. Perfect. Dagger. Okay. Dead or alive. Deal eight damage X times. If fatal, get a bounty. What is bounty? Normal enemy, 15 gold. Elite, 40 gold. Boss, 100 gold. So it's like a... Hand of Greed with more upside. Interesting. I kind of like the reboot because I have a lot of junk in my hands. <laughs> what does All for One do? For me, it's just reboots. So I can read re my, my hands is clogged. Sneko Pyramid is not a thing. Sozu could be a thing. Bag of Holding replaces Handy Habersack. Gain energy at the start of each turn, lasting one turn. For every five cards in your deck. So I have 30 cards. It's gonna last six turns. So it's gonna be an energy relic. They're alive with the scaling. Yeah, I could get gold. Or I could just take the card that says, let me draw cards. So let's do all the elites and let's get the hell out of here. Now I gotta taste of what this is. This is incredible at mod though. It is incredible. So last six turns, perfect. I should have played Chaos Generator. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Dagger time. Dagger's upgraded as well. Love that. Cool. GG. Okay. GG. Cool. Deal double damage to elites and bosses. Deal damage. 9 damage for all enemies, gain 9 block if it's uh, okay. So this could be a 9-9. A cleave with 
Nine block, kind of cool. Gain two temporary strength. What's the upgrade? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all this. You guys want a potion? Sure. Ranger setup. Let's put this back on the top. Let's go ahead and play the cards that say. Alright, cool. I want to upgrade Snow Melt. Snow Melt's actually a pretty good card. Let me, let me upgrade that. Let me upgrade that. That was a waste of hologram, my bad. Okay, the goal is to get a dagger to set up. I have eight energy. Out of nowhere, I have eight energy. Wait, I don't want this guy to die now. Wait, wait, wait. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I don't want this guy to die. I, I didn't think this through. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait. <laughs> wait a minute. This is good. This is good. What comes first? Perfect. Okay. Smithing oil. Death's effect was... I, I, caught, I thought it was going to be better than what it was, to be honest. Critical hit. Firewall. I wasn't trying to see a shop here. See, you can't be mad that I don't buy anything because I wasn't trying to see a shop here. It wasn't in my... Uh, oh, I, I want this though. I want this. Why don't you hit the thing that says... Oh, that's my fault. I play that person first. It's always good, huh? Well, not always. I want to get my power minister up. Maybe I should have made power minister innate. I mean the polishing. Polishing is pretty good with the lightning strike. Cool. All right, we have virtual dagger ready to go. I'm trying to save the dagger for the big orb walker. Now the goal is to kill this guy. How do I kill it? Oh, like this. Cool. Oh, I could have upgraded that permanently. Okay, I got calipers now. Can I do anything with calipers? Draw one card. Gain energy equal to its cost. Draw a card again. What? How many cards do I have that are expensive? That's kind of nuts. This card is incredible. What? Gain energy equal to its cost. You just have an expensive ass deck. Draws two cards. Yes. I like it. Let's see what it hits. Cool. I love not being have to worry about pain. No pain, no gain. Rip pecs. Chaos generator. 
Apparition. Doom. No shame. No gain. Well, what do you guys want to upgrade permanently? Because we have smithing oil. How about we do it on an apparition? And or let's do it on... Let's do an apparition. Need dagger, right? Apparition, permanently upgraded. Thank you very much. Uh, we don't want to do too much damage. I just realized because we have to draw into. We have to draw into the thing that says. Ritual dagger. Um, this is bad because he's dying. So I gotta draw dagger. How do I draw dagger? By doing trace. There's a dagger. So now I need card draw. Card draw is the sift. I hologram the sift. I draw cards. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh. I mean, this just gives me like something to do with my time, right? After you gain charge up, deal damage equal to three times its total to all enemies. What is charge up? At six or more stacks, double the damage of the next attack and lose six stacks. Thoughts on this? I'm gonna go ahead and skip. It's like a pen nib. But how do I gain charge up? Like, that's another keyword that I don't even have. Let's recall, get it out of the way. Frostbite is, uh, I think it's the thing, uh, like it's like a pressure points kind of thing, no? We're gonna have pyromancers. So here, so we got. So here's what I should have done that first. There's no pyromancers. Okay, now we're talking. Get my power masteries out. Let's save these faded numbers. Get the hell out of here, Payne. I'm tired of seeing that little pink. All right, power masters are here, and, and they're all upgraded. One, two. Now I need card because I have way too many, too much energy, and not enough things to play. Okay, one, two. Might as well play Bias Cog. You remember it? Yeah. I can knight him to death. Alright, the embers are crazy. Why do I get so many embers? There's the polishing. I want to get the Dark Orb back. Alright, this man now has 36 ignite. Death might be using this one? Yes, death might be re relevant. I agree. For once, death is relevant. All right, I'm doing a lot of damage. I gotta save, make sure that the dagger's in good shape. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful here. Alright, now how do we how do we get dagger? What do you guys think? Well death does too much, right? Fuck! <laughs> That's not good. I figured it out. Thank you. P 
Piercing Will talks to them. Whoa, Prismatic Shard's coming in big. Prismatic Shard <laughs> giving me a talk to the hands. I haven't seen Watcher cards in a long time. Now, Piercing Will Plus is really good for the heart as well, but talk to the hand is talk to the hands. I mean, Watcher cards, am I right? My only question is how many times do I play attacks? Is Ignite considered an attack? It's a status. Ignite is a status, but a positive status. So how many times does all uh, talk to them do anything? Do any picture with all the apparitions? I mean, it's another solution for the heart multi attack, right? Talk to the hand is just, it's just, it just brings me joy. I can start lifting. I'm not sure what I want to do. I want to keep upgrading apparitions. That's for one. And then I want to upgrade the other powers as well. Colors cards, yeah or nay? Let's see what we got. Dark Shackles. Purity to get rid of a whole bunch of junk. Don't you guys think we have a lot of junk? Wait, Sadistic Nature? Hello? Sadistic Nature Ignite. Guys, welcome. It's the craziest thing you never thought would happen. You thought Venom was good? How about Double Sadistic Nature? Now we're cooking with gas. Luckily, it's Ascension Zero, so I can mess around because that was kind of crazy what I just did. You know, Rip Picks can go. I gotta be honest. The strength, yeah, you know, it's it's no longer. We're, we're no longer ripping our picks. Duplicate. All right. If you want to duplicate something, what are you gonna take that's gonna make this deck crazy? More embers. More chaos. Or simply more sadistic nature. Ah, uh, or maybe we can just take another apparition. I mean, apparition is the the boring one, right? But the non-boring one is either ember, chaos, or sadistic. Um, more pain. Yeah, we can do more pain. Yes. You should just take the apparition. Or what about double dagger? Hmm, double dagger is fun. More apparition, call it a day, right? That's boring, though, isn't it? More apparition is boring. We got more embers, more embers. Fuck it. Look at my turn one. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Get out of here. I got, I can't look. There it is. Got my sadistic nature. Sadistic nature, holy crap. You ready? 14 damage. Fourteen damage. Wait, I gotta get back into my dagger. Boom. Whoa, what? Oh, is that is this a shiny pack? Foil. Okay. Sleeve up. Draw four cards. When this appears in a card reward, the cards are foil and gain retain. Well, retain is pretty useless, but I like the thought. Gain nine block. If your block is broken exactly this turn, gain two strength. Uh, I'm going to skip the foils. Yeah, it is bullshit, isn't it? Let's lift. Let's get swole. Not that, not that getting swole does anything, but just to pay homage to the um, the Giria. Oh wait, this is actually a challenging run. I have power deck. I'm going against the power bird. We might actually struggle. Wait a minute. I'm gonna make this bird really angry. Question is, do I care?
I don't give a damn. It's a sincere. Oh man, I'm sorry. It's such a such a, such a joke, isn't it? Huh? What a joke it is, huh? But if this is Ascension Twenty, would I care? Nah. Well, maybe. Ah, <laughs> looking at this draw, maybe, 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 maybe. Ah, let's take a look. Sadistic nature. I play all the things. Except for Bias Club. That one can stay. Well, that's a lot of damage, isn't it? Let's rummage your card. <laughs> Get fucked. But you know, piercing me was really good in this turn. I just realized. Piercing was really good here. I realize I'm drawing way too many freaking embers. Which is making it so that I can't play apparitions. How does this power even work anyways? At the start of your turn, draw two cards and add two fade embers to your hand and to your draw pile. Oh, I hate this card. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. We just gotta get more card draw. It's a basic nature. Oh, you thought I was scared. We thought I was scared. What if Sif hits an ember? Are we fucked? Sith has the possibility to whiff big time. I want to do Power Master so bad. Alright, 5 strength, no big deal. That would have been problematic if it was, um, yeah, that, that, was a little, that was a little much. That was a little much. Because I don't really have block. Let's find block. Talk to my hands, man. Block. You're the lurk master. Hell yeah, brother. Chaos generator. Yes. More power. I fear nothing. Nothing scares me. Power Master, I don't fear a damn thing. Sir, slow down. You're doing too much. I'm not terrified. I'm not scared at all. That's supposed to scare me. Fuel death. You know what death feels like, sir? Whoa! You didn't tell me you had fancy numbers. No one told me that death looked like that. I would have propped it a lot sooner. Look at that sadistic nature. Look at that statistic so nature.
Ember your ass. Look at this. Boom. You know, it's actually not that impressive, this Ember stuff. <laughs> Wait, you know. Let's draw some Embers. Yeah, I gotta see death again, though. No, I gotta see this again. Whew. Beautiful. Oh, it's only one boss. That's right. Anticlimactic. Alright. Come on, heart. I need more cards to go with the ember. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put the thing that says card draw. A.K.A. Um... What's it called? Snow melt. Oh, I can just play snow melt whenever I see it. Talk to the hands. Add some blood. Does this actually survive the heart? We're gonna find out. While your HP is below two or fifty percent, you have two additional focus. I love this. Blue skull is sick. Wait, this should add this to the game. This is a sick card. Couple of things. Two belt, two box. Find, find Panacea. Panacea makes Bias Cog amazing. Matter of fact, where's my ancient pot? Let's go. Fueled by embers. Wow. I <laughs> have too many. Infinite calipers, what was the infinite calipers? What was it? I don't even get to take advantage of the card that I have though, like I'm not even taking I'm not even in control of the card that I have. Polygram zero. Ah, I see. You're thinking in portals. This deck actually is bad because I'm holding to apparitions and I'm not playing enough cards. So I have another card that I'm not taking advantage of. Got my dagger. Got my dagger. Let's go kill you. What does Sif got? Damn, son. Bye. I got rid of my draw pot for what? Mantra. Thoughts? That gives me energy. Energy gives me... I mean, it's just cool. All right? Don't you guys want like, devotion in your life? Not really. It takes four turns if it's upgraded. Five if it's not. Bye. Kind of want that draw pop back. All right. May the best. Oh, I, I don't take any damage here. I don't take any damage. Get rid of the dagger. I don't want to see it in my life. I need. To, I need to have some. Co oh, there's a strength pot. Eh. Big whoop. Sixty damage. How intimidating! <clears throat> Let's ember him. Get rid of that. Let's cardistry him. Do this. Get some cards. Put that back on top. And let's play a cheeky little ember. Get that ember going, going, going. 
bleed it out. Oh, shit. That's a cool card. Apply poison and trigger their poison. I've been wanting a card like that in my life. That's really cool. First multi attack is basically a 2 times 12. I can take this to the face, can't I? Who, who doesn't want to take 12, uh, 2 times 12 to the face? I want the focus, don't I? Hit me. Hit me harder. I'm trying to apply as much ignite as possible, but I don't have my pyromancy out yet. Let me get that out. There's my pyromancy. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I don't want to ever drop void ever again in my life. So you guys want to take this to the face, right? Get the, get your your, uh, your blue skull out. Yeah. Blue skull me. Thank you, 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 thank you. Oh my god, I have so much energy, nothing to do with it. And this deck is getting way too many embers and not enough card draw. Eight energy and I'm doing what? Nothing. Doing jack shit with it. Disappointing. Very disappointing. All right, full damage time. Go, go, my my sweet one. Go, go, go. Bleed it out. I should have done sustenance first. Order, order in the court. Do sustenance first. I got calipers finally. Or about to. Let's trace. I want nothing but embers in my life. You know what? Play it again, baby. One HP. And what a way to go. Oh, I didn't death him. Oh, we're supposed to death him. All right, GG, boys. Very fun. All right. This mod has a lot of things going on. Lots of different cards. Lots of different new keywords. Lots of cool art. It's one of those mods you have to play a couple of times.